Hello friends, welcome to Foxu Tech. So today we're gonna see another important topic, how to parse the configuration inside the Kubernetes container. All right, so we're gonna demonstrate with the detailed explanation and how to create the config configuration and also we're gonna show what need to be do and when, what are the changes we gonna make it. So we're gonna demonstrate. So this video will be assumes you have an existing Kubernetes cluster and in that we're gonna perform all the actions. So what are the action we're gonna perform? The first step we're gonna perform is we're gonna create a HT password from the HT password command. And then we're gonna create the secret from that. If you doesn't familiar with HT password, HT password is nothing but which help us to create the username password with encrypted format for Nginx or Apache or the web servers mostly, right? So once the HT password has been created with the secret, then we're gonna create a Nginx configuration with Nginx config map and sorry, Kubernetes config map and the config map will refer the actual Nginx configuration, okay? Once both has been done, so we're gonna create the Nginx pod with mounted off, mounting with the HT password file, whatever we created, and that will be referred from a secret and then the configuration file from the config map, okay? So this is the complete demonstration detail. So we're gonna see it in the live, how to do this. So if you want to practice along with us, so you can refer our uh, repository and you can use these files to check how it works. And also you can play around with this demo with the different, different aspects. All right, let's log into the server and let's demonstrate the changes. Okay, so this is my server and this is my Kubernetes. I'm having existing namespace and application running. All right, so already I'm in the path. So in this path, I have a files for the demo, okay? So the first command, but the out of box, there is a few command we have to run now externally and those commands we're gonna perform it now. What are the commands? The first command, we're gonna create the HT password file from the HT password command. So HT password should be installed as an external package from the M or APT if you're using for open to and M for the Fedora or Red Hat or CentOS VMs, you have to use it. M install HTTP tools command, okay? So once you install the HTTP commands tool, so then you should have a HT password installed and this is how it's look like. And once you've done this, so let's jump into the demo and we wanna create a file called HTTP password again. So what is the password command to use it? HT password and I'm gonna create it with hyphen C and the file name I'm gonna refer to as HT password. And then the username I'm gonna say like a Foxu tech. Okay, so I'm creating a user for the Foxu tech. I'm gonna set the password for demo purpose. I'm using a password called test here and we're gonna use it in this later of the video. Okay, so now the password file has been created. Now we have to create a secret, Kubernetes secret from this, right? So for that, I'm gonna use a kubectl command, kubectl create secret, and as it's a generic one, I'm putting a generic, and then the nginx, I'm gonna name it as nginx password. So, and as it's a file, so I'm gonna refer it from the file, and the file name is ht password. All right, the secret has been created. Let's quickly take a look on the secret. Get secret. Well, so the secret has been created. So for best practices, if you are creating any temporary files and once it's added to the Kubernetes secret, you need to delete the file from the local box because there is no use of keeping it here. So as it's a demo purpose, it's going to be a big issue, but if you're using in a production, please make sure you are deleting or you're not keeping it in the publicly shared location. So it may lead to a lot of security risks. All right, so to follow the best practice, I'm gonna delete it from my local. As I know the details already, I'm gonna remove the file from my local. Okay, so it's asking me to confirm. I have confirmed it. Now the first part has been done. The second map, second part is creating a config map, okay? So let me quickly show you the config map, what I created to saving the time I have created this file already. And let's quickly check into this, okay? 
So this is a config map and this is a configuration file. Okay, so you can see it here. So as per the requirement, we are mounting the nginx config with the HT password. I just named so nginx demo. You can name it whatever you want. And we are not changing anything on the port wise. It's been used as a 80. And if you are running or uh, trying this inside your organization, sometimes your organization may block this IPv6 ports. Please remove this line if you are not using, but if you don't, if you are, there is no such a restriction, you can keep it. And the port, if you wish to change, you can change it based on your need. All right. So let's quickly create this configuration. So it here, apply an app, config map. All right. So the config map has been created, right? Successfully. So now let's check the configuration it's created. Now you should see there is a config map called nginx config has been created eight seconds before. All right, so we have completed the first part. We have created the HT password file and we have created a secret. Second thing, we have created the config map from nginx configuration, right? So now the third part come to the pitch. So we're gonna create the nginx part and that part will have both the reference of these files. Okay, so again, to saving a time, our waste to make sure like uh, it's been tracked properly in the JIT. So I have created a file and pushed it to the repo. So in this file, we have created the creating a part and I'm using a basic Nginx and the port is 80, as I, as I said in the Nginx config. If you are using a different port, please change the port here. Right. So next we are mounting your volumes. Before that, let's check first volumes as whenever you are creating a part, the first Thing runs CSI, nothing but container storage interface. If there is any volumes are referred, volumes will be created first, then the runtime interface will be started, CRI will be starting. So let's go on that border. Okay, so metadata it's creating a pod and it's check the volume. The volumes are first one is a config. The config is referring from config map. The name of the config map is nginx config map. Next, we are putting HT password. The password is coming from a secret. The secret name we have named as nginx HT password. So now we are done. Okay, so the volume mount has been referred from the names, whatever we define. So name we given config and this is the config and the mount path has been slash etc nginx. We see in the requirement, if you are using a custom path, like a slash user local nginx, please change accordingly. And the uh, same thing for the HTTP password, HT password. And with the HT password, we are mounting inside this path. So this can be a just reference. If you are using a different application with the same scenarios, you can use, make use of that with the different, different aspects. Okay. So this is how you have to refer it. So I'm going to save this first place. And then we're going to create a pod, UCTL. Apply hyphenf nginx. So let's check the pod is been started and running. Yes, the configuration has been done. So now we have successfully done our demonstration with the creating of nginx and this is working. Sorry, this has been done. But the next task has been we have to confirm that is it working fine or not, right? So for that, what we have, so we have a busy box in the same path and the VC box will be created to curl the response from the nginx as it's http1 so curl will be working so let me show you what i'm what it's been so it's a basic very basic image it's, it has a curl in the VC box okay so this is how the response so we're gonna create this also now <clears throat> All right, so the busy box has been created. It's ETL get pod, and this is there. Now, quickly check the response from the Nginx. How we can do that? So, to do that, we should get the IP address of the pod as it's in internal. So, we can try to communicate from the IP address. So, I'm going to get the IP address of the pods with the iPhone O white command. So, here you can see there is the Nginx is running with the port of the IP of. 1.14 okay 
So let me run the kip ctl execute command for the busy box. I find I find will be getting the response from the uh, as I'm going to run the command. So I'm going to run the command with curl and this is the IP address. So as I'm using a 80, I'm not passing any ports or any reference port. So you may aware it. So if you are using a different port apart from 80 instead of you are using 81 or 82 something. So you need to give a call on the particular port. Okay. My case, it's not needed. I'm just keeping that. Sorry for the typo. So now you will see the response has been coming and the responses came with 401 authentication required. So why it's so? Why it's so? Because this has been enabled with this particular response has been enabled with username password, right? The HTTP pass, HTTP password we have created that will make sure whenever you are trying to access the application, you have to pass the username and password. If you are not passing username password, this will be showing as 401 authentication record. Okay, so how to check is it working or not or how to check the properly it's responding or not, right? So as all we know, so curl can accept the username and password. I'm going to pass the username password we created with HT password. So what is the username we have given? So Fox U Tech. Fox U Tech. And then colon the password I have set test. So I'm going to run this command again. And now you can see it's coming as a welcome page. And that means we are authenticated successfully with the username and password. And the response is well and good. So now we are double checked the HT password, whatever we configured the, that is working and Nginx is working as we are expected. All right. So this is how you can create the configuration for your application and you can mount it. And also if you have a secret, you can create and you can mount it. Hope this video is useful guys. Please practice and uh, please share this video to your friends and if you like please like hit the like button and also please subscribe and that will help you to get more knowledge on upcoming videos we are trying to make a lot of videos on the kubernetes and the later devops tools and that may gain help you to gain more knowledge on these topics thank you for your time have a great day take care bye bye